It's the royal family of video gaming. It's always there. Always a source of fascination, and we wouldn't have it any other way. The Sims 4 is coming. It's been three years since the last main entry in the series. How have The Sims progressed since then? So the big thing that we're really bringing The Sims for is this idea of emotional interactions with your Sims and really bringing those emotions to life in believable and intelligent ways. What else has been carried over to Sims 4? What's, what's stayed the same? Well, we're bringing over all the elements that people love, um, but we are reimagining them in new ways. So stuff like our creative tools, they've always been really powerful tools in the past. We wanted to make them very appropriate approachable while still retaining all of that power. So now you go into create a sim and you're just pushing and pulling and grabbing and poking and it changes your sim. Just It's very tactile, that direct manipulation. And it's the exact same thing with our build mode where you're going in and you can grab a room and you can drag out the sides of it. You can pick it up, drop it down and everything moves with it. And another new feature is the ability to mold your sims, <laughs> sort of kind of create them in the way that you want them to be. Yeah. Which is amazing, the detail's fantastic. You can even give one a long nose <laughs> if, you, if you fancy. Well, yeah. that's what I've been doing when I demo the game. I'll, I'll <laughs> yank out the nose and then I'll put a little crook in it and I'll twist it downward so yeah, they look really evil. You can be really quite evil. cruel if you want to, can't you? Yeah, and that's, you know, that's one of the aspects of Sims that people have always loved. Can you give us an example of how motion plays a part? We have this new technology that we're calling Smart Sim. And a big part of it is group conversations. So when I'm talking, both of you guys are looking at me, and that makes sense. But we've never had that in a Sims game before. So like when you you know just jump in and say something, we both pivot and look at you. And like that's a lot of the group dynamic that we're trying to go for to bring these Sims to life. And you know, we talk about their AI and their intelligence and all that. Really, it's just about simulating life in believable ways, and it's so cool. Yeah.